Now you can already buy quite a few derivatives of the three series. There's the saloon, the estate, coupe and convertible. And now you can add the GT or Gran Turismo to that list. BMW has essentially done what they did with the 5 Series a few years ago. So they've made it a proper five door with a hatchback boot. Though that's not really worked out that well in the UK for the 5 Series GT. It's probably because it's an absolute whale of a car. The 3 Series GT is a bit sleeker and a bit less bloated, but it's still far from pretty. And while it looks very similar to the 3 Series Saloon, it's actually quite a bit bigger. It's expanded in wheelbase, so the distance between the front wheels and the rear wheels, by 110 millimetres. That should mean more cabin space inside, and BMW's claiming 70 millimetres extra rear legroom. Boot space is fairly impressive. BMW is claiming 520 litres capacity with the seats up. That's 25 litres more than you get in the 3 Series Estate. And with the seats folded flat, that expands to a massive 1,600 litres of space. It's also got the electrically powered opening boot, and it's got an optional foot kick boot opening too. What is vitally important to many 3 Series buyers is how it drives. And BMW is saying that it will be consistent with the saloon, so it should be a class leader in terms of driving enjoyment. It's also got some nice clever tech as well, like the rear spoiler. Now this comes up electrically at 68 miles an hour above to improve the aerodynamics so it can almost match the 3 Series for efficiency. The engine lineup is the same as what you expect to get in the 3 Series saloon and prices start from just under £29,000. That's £2,000 more than the starting price of the Audi A5 Sportback. And I know which one I'd rather have. Click on one of the links below to read our 5 Series GT4 review, the full tested review of the 3 Series Touring and all of our 2013 Geneva Motor Show coverage.